Margo here. I'm here to talk about a few ways that I am focusing on my own personal well-being during this crazy time of social distancing and self-quarantine and working remotely, something we're not really used to. So the first thing that I'm doing is I am focusing on routines. So I am focusing on my morning routine. I'm trying to make sure I get up at the same time every day. I'm trying to, even though I'm in my home and uh, working from home, I'm trying to make sure I get up and take a shower and get dressed for the day as if I were going into the office. I'm trying to make sure I keep a regular meal schedule as, as well as my bedtime schedule. So uh, routines in general have been shown to uh, reduce stress and can be um, help us with our time management. So routines are important, but bedtime routine especially is important to maintain good quality sleep, which is something we all need right now for our stress levels as well as our immunity levels. So sleep is incredibly important and keeping a regular routine will help with that. The second thing I'm doing is focusing on hobbies that I had kind of lost track of or haven't been spending enough time doing. So one of the things I truly love to do is to play music. Um, and so I've pulled my guitar out a lot more than I have <laughs> in the past. Um, so being home has helped me to focus on something, kind of a, a lost hobby that I, I love doing. So I have been not just playing music, but I've also found that this time has uh, really helped with creativity. So I've also been writing some more music, which I haven't been able to do for a long time or haven't taken the time to do. So that has been an incredible joy for me. And the third thing I'm doing is really focusing on gratitude. So there's a ton of research out there on the benefits of gratitude. Uh, so there's a study that talks about that people who have a regular gratitude practice uh, experience fewer aches and pains. So there's definitely physical benefits to gratitude. And then of course there's a ton of social benefits and emotional benefits to gratitude. Um, gratitude can help increase your sleep. So I am really trying to every night take a few minutes to think about the things that I'm grateful for during the day. And I'm trying to be really intentional about that because it's so easy right now because things are so crazy and out of control to just focus on the negative things or the things that are outside of our control. So I'm really spending time each day to be grateful for my family and my loved ones. And so far, everyone has remained healthy. I am so grateful for all of the medical professionals and helpers out there that are on the front lines of this uh, crisis. And I'm grateful for a lot of things. I'm grateful for my work and the way our leaders have shown up to help us attend to and, and are focusing on well-being. And that's why we're doing these videos. Um, and there was a study done by the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology that found that um, people who practice regular gratitude had a greater uh, resilience after a terrorist attack. And I feel like this is equivalent to that. And I'm th I want to encourage everyone to think about ways to practice gratitude. And it doesn't have to take a lot of time and it doesn't have to be a huge commitment, but just spending a few days or a few moments every day to think about the things that you're grateful for that you've found during the day. So I hope this helps. I hope that you all are staying well and you find ways to attend to your own well-being during this crazy time.